So in the last video we have seen was the use of string buffer and we want to convert this string which has numbers and alphabets and we want just want the numbers out as an output. So for that we want to do we have to use uh, we have to use something called a string buffer to do it. Okay. So let's see how to how to find the output. So let's first take a string value. Uh, okay. So let's say we have string str as uh, let's take the above input so which is 98bv or 987bv that is 68a667 so this is your input and what we'll do is we'll say str equal to okay I want to change the value from str to str but this str will go into something called as convert convert okay we'll use this method called as convert now what this method will do is uh, it will convert the value which will it will take the string with alphabet and will just give it the numbers and will print this str so that's what we want to do here but to make it work we have to define this method which is convert right so what we'll do is we'll create one more static method which will return me a string value and the method will be convert so this will take string as an input and it will give you a string as an output okay but I don't don't want to send the same uh, output which is uh, which is the input right so we need to apply the conversion thing here so for sure when you say you are converting something so we have to remove these two values we want to remove B and V and we want to remove a so when you say you want to remove something so that means you want to change your existing string and when you say you want to change something so that uh, that class should support mutability so to use it to make it mutable we have to use a class called a string buffer we'll say sb equal to new string buffer and then in this string buffer we'll pass a string okay now so what we need to do is we need to start with the first element so we'll start with 9 and we'll go till 7 if this 9 is a number skip if it's 8 is a number skip 7 is a number skip as soon as you say get b we say delete as soon as we get v we say delete as soon as we say 6 skip 8 skip a delete and this is what we want to do right so that means we have to start with the first value to the last value so we have to use a for loop for that we'll use int i initial value of i will be 0 because string normally works with an string is the same as an array right so I have to start with 0 so we have to start with 0 and we'll end at the last value or uh, the length so maybe le less than length and then i plus plus so this this will take you from the first value to the last value now what we are saying is if you are getting an input as 9 so the first value will be 9 right so if you are input if you are getting the input as a number skip so I have to check when to skip now how would we know that the existing character is it a character is it a char normal character or a number now to know that we can actually use the range of ASCII values so basically when we talk about ASCII value so for your digits also from 48 to 57 these are digits so when you say 48 that's 0, 49 is 1, 50 is 2, 51 is 3 and 57 is 9 so what we can simply check is we will ask this uh, the string buffer give me the character at location first which is i here if the value is less than 48 which means it's not a string right uh, which is so it's not a number and uh, give me the character at i and if it is more than 57 so it's not a number so if it is it belongs to the it, if, if the number is less than 48 or greater than 57 so for sure it's not a number in that scenario if that's not a number we can simply say delete the character at what location we are we, are, we say deleted location i simple right and if you if it is a number skip anyway we are we are going for the uh, loop so it will skip that value and it will go for the next, next iteration simple you want to see the output let's run this if you run this uh oh uh oh it's not working it's because it's because it's because I don't know what happened okay how about if I say minus minus now if I run this will it work oh it's not working 
So we are sending a string which is an object and then we are returning a string. Oh, we should not return a string, we should return sb because we want to return a string buffer, right? We are changing the values in string buffer. And then we need to just uh, convert into to string and let's run, uh oh. Here we got something, we got an output here. Uh, but hold on, it, it has just removed b and a. What about other values? So it, is, it has not removed uh, uh, this one v. The issue is, as soon as you say delete, so it will delete the character and all this value will be shifted this side. So the value for b, let's say the index number for b is 3. So when we delete it, the index number for v is 3 now. And then when, then when we go for the next iteration, it will start with 4 and directly it will start with 6. So it will not go for v again. Okay. So what we can do here is, we can simply say, every time you delete a value, you say i plus plus, i minus minus. So that if you delete the value b here, if you delete b, it will again go back to the value so that it, it will also check v. So this position here, this is 3, right? So if you remove this, so v becomes 3. So that's why I'm going for minus minus anyway, because we are going for plus plus. And now if I run this, and here's the output. So we have removed all the characters. In fact, you can, you can have any type of characters. You can simply say a plus, or maybe a space, maybe a dot. It will remove all this. It will just go for the numbers. And that's the part of this code. So I hope you understand this uh, simple code. So if you have liked this video, do share on Facebook and do like the video and thank you so much for watching.